Amphan, Gulabi, Asani. These are not deserts, but the names of deadly cyclones. On average, two to three tropical cyclones make landfall in India each year. But why do we name storms? And how did it start? There's a possibility of having more than one cyclone at a time in a particular geographical location or around the globe. So, to facilitate disaster risk awareness and management, each tropical storm is given a name to avoid confusion. Information has to be passed between scattered stations, coastal bases and ships at sea. Giving out short, easy to pronounce names is helpful in giving out detailed storm information. When a storm's wind reaches a speed of 62 km per hour or more, it is then classified as a hurricane, cyclone or typhoon. In the Indian Ocean and South Pacific, tropical cyclones receive names in alphabetical order and women and men's names are alternated. Six regional specialized meteorological centers are tasked with giving a title to a cyclone. The India Meteorological Department is responsible for naming the one that forms over the northern Indian Ocean. In the beginning, storms were named arbitrarily. Later, meteorologists decided to name storms from a list for a more organized and efficient system. The list is arranged according to the names given by alphabetically arranged countries. These names are neutral to gender, politics, religious beliefs and cultures. Once a name is used, it will not be repeated again. The most recent list released in 2020 has 169 names, including 13 names each from 13 countries. Earlier, eight countries had given 64 names. Names from India that have been used include Gati, which means speed, Meg, which stands for cloud, and Akash, which means sky. Other designations that have been used earlier include Ogni, Helen, and Fani from Bangladesh, and Laila, Nargis, and Bulbul from Pakistan. The most recent one, Asani, was given by Sri Lanka. Asani or Roth in Sinhalese will be the first cyclonic storm of the season. The cyclone that will form after Asani will be called Sitrang, a name given by Thailand. Earlier, World Meteorological Organization had retired Ida from the future list of names as the storm was a destructive and deadly hurricane in the US. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.